every year or so I usually have to do a pretty substantial reorganization of all of my pin boards because I always kind of end up running out of room and have to figure out how to reconfigure things or find room to put new boards on. And we've reached that point again where I really kind of have to figure out how to move things around, what little readjustments to do so that I can continue to fit all my pins on my wall because I always like to display all of my pins. I don't like to keep them hidden away in pin books. So I thought I'd give a little overview of the current situation and I guess the dilemmas that there are. And then we'll see if we can freshen up all my pin board displays on my wall. Okay, so one of the main orders of business and something that you may note is different about this board is that I used to have my Goofy Movie pin collection here, but I had to, at least just for now, take them off and put this on this other pin board because I didn't have enough room for my Zootopia pins. I got in some of the fifth anniversary pins and that was like all of the space that was left available. So it was time to turn this into a fully, fully dedicated Zootopia pin board. So this is where I'm not like literally running out of space in terms of cork, but in terms of you know, where I display my collections and where I put stuff. So it's possible if I have something, you know, small come in and kind of maybe semi-related, I can put it here, but otherwise I think this is now just gonna become a dedicated Zootopia pin board. I'm still all good up here with Wally and Emperor's New Groove, and up there we have Frozen and Rescuers. Then down further, I have Pixar. This is good for now. And then here on this little board, I have my monthly pin collections. So for this year, I'm gonna be collecting all of the windows of Main Street pins, and I'm pretty sure this will fit perfectly on here. So I do think the configuration of this side is fine right now, but I have all of this empty space here that's kind of really being taken up by my LE75 frame set with my Mickey Geode pin. So I think I really need to move this from its current location. And what I think I wanna do is I have this Mickey and Minnie pin board up here. It has a lot of pins that I really like, but it's very high up, so it's hard to see. So I think I wanna bring that pin board down and put that right above my desk here. Then that segues into attractions. This board had been getting very full, but I kind of cleared out some Splash Mountain pins. I just didn't really want anything that was purely any of the Br'er character related. So we're still good on that. But I think I can move this frame set to this little area I have on my wall here. And that'll go kind of next to my diplomas and then it'll be kind of closer to my geology pins. The next dilemma is my sweets and snacks collections because I just got these two pins in, but I do not have any room left on that pin board. I could technically probably make room if I really shoved things in together, but this is already kind of reaching max capacity. So what I might do is this Mickey Mouse pin. I have another Dole Whip Mickey that I think is gonna be from a set. It's a annual pass holder or legacy annual pass holder exclusive. And since they've already released two and they seem to be in a snack set, I might try and put these on their own board and then I can spit the It's Lemon on the snacks board. But that still doesn't really solve my dilemma of the fact that like, there really isn't room for anything else. So I'll probably just have to create like a second ancillary sweets and snacks pin board. I have a few pin boards on this wall here and this pin board has a lot of miscellaneous stuff and it is pretty filled up, but I don't too often add to these collections and it's easy enough still to kind of move things around a bit. Where I do have quite a lot of room is on this pin board with my Galaxy's Edge and Mandalorian collection but I like to keep things kind of suited like in theme. But what I might be able to do, I have some very, very random pins up there that I could theoretically move to the bottom like there because I actually have like Brave Little Toaster and Big Hero 6 Indiana Jones, which maybe could kind of fit in with Star Wars-y stuff. And then maybe that board up there can kind of become secondary sweets and snacks. And then I'll have to decide if I keep my Goofy Movie pins on this pin board or if I change to something else. I do like this because there's a decent amount of room left on there. And then I could put it up there since all this space here will now be cleared up and that would make even more room where I could fit other smaller pin boards on there. So I think first order of business, move this to the other wall, move that down there and then see where things are looking.
I am a little bit haphazard when it comes to putting things on my wall. I'm not as into measuring or leveling. I'll measure like when I have to get an exact distance, but I'll kind of just like nail into the wall and move it around a little bit if it doesn't work. So my preference is just kind of to eyeball it and go for it, but at least I think this is working out. So now over my desk, we have this Mickey and Minnie pin board. And it's so nice that I can actually see all of these pins up close because there's a, a lot of ones on this board that I really like. And we have the same attractions board. And then up there, I have the Goofy Movie pin board. And now you can see I have actually quite a lot of other space that I can fit other smaller pin boards up there. I could get another pin board that's more of that size. So this gives me quite a bit of flexibility in terms of being able to add more pins. So now what I think I've decided for sweets and snacks is I'm going to my additional sweets and snacks kind of putting the potential little Mickey you can see Mickey holding the doll rope and that other churro pin that's gonna be a series on that board then those pins will go down at the base of this pin board here So I decided to take off my authentic set of Shanghai Grand Opening pins that I had just dangling at the bottom here so that I could easily fit all of these pins. Some of them kind of vibe with this half and the others don't. I don't really collect cats that much. I get ones that kind of remind me of our cats Mika or Celix. So I don't think that'll necessarily need its own pin board, but those have a nice home on there. Still plenty of room up here. And then up at the tippy top, we now have these two other sweets and snacks pins. I am so excited by this pin series. I hope that it is a monthly year long pin series with Mickey getting all of the iconic Disney treats from the parks. That is gonna be super awesome. Then plus I'll have plenty of other room to put other sweets and snacks pins. We got the It's Lemon pin on there and then this kind of fits to max capacity here. And then I can easily just kind of hang this guy up in plenty of the blank space here. So now we fixed my pin board space issue and I have plenty room still to put more pins on here. You can see lots of room for more Zootopia pins there. Lots of room up there for more little boards if needed. Plenty of room for some more sweets and snacks there. I'm not totally in love with the placement of my frame set there. It was definitely a little bit bigger, wider than I thought. I might move that around, but that is kind of the easiest thing to move around, you know, anywhere here if needed. But the main goal has been accomplished. All of the pins that I have are now on their pin boards. So hopefully we won't have to do any more big reorganizations like this for a little while. But thanks for watching.